Right now, we can get three dozen professional construction workers and a couple of savvy engineers, give them the blueprints to build a house from standard materials. Like most houses in many parts of the world, provide the material and tell them, we'll pay you double wages to have it built in 48 hours. Guess what? The house will be ready from A to Z in 48 hours. In fact, it might be cheaper to just order a prefabricated house or have one 3D printed and ready in as little as 24 hours. Not to mention we can get one of those foldable houses that we can take with us on vacations, but it might be too small to fit all the kids. This is the new reality of speed in construction these days. However, when it comes to building apartment or commercial towers, it is a whole different story. Yet, it has been done, and today 10 or even 50 story towers can be built in mere days. Thanks to advancements in building foundations, prefabrication, and module designs technologies. So what about mega projects, like a gigafactory or nuclear reactor, or even a subway? Can it be done? The answer is yes, but it will still take between 20 to 30% of the time it would normally take, depending on the scope and the scale of the project. What are the technologies that make mega structures and mega projects possible so fast? And what are some of these fascinating structures? Stay tuned to be shocked and amazed. As construction technologies advanced, it has become apparent that speed via the utilization of prefabrication and module designs is extremely important to the success of mega projects because with extended timelines come increased risk, uncertainty, and budget overruns. An example of how speed and module designs can make such a huge difference is the expansion of the Madrid Metro project, which constituted the largest and fastest subway expansion in history. Such projects take on average 15 to 20 years, which was the case with Copenhagen's City Circle Line and London's Victoria Line. However, the engineers behind the 1995 Madrid Metro expansion found a way to complete a total of 131 kilometers of metro lines and 76 stations in under eight years. This might sound like a very long time to many. However, an engineer would tell you that such a complex mega project with such amazing results should take on average at least 20 years, if not more. So how did they do it? The Spanish engineers decided that there will be no monuments, meaning no signature architecture in the stations. The second trick they applied was module design and replicate. They simply decided to stick to tried technologies without deviating from the original blueprints except to fix issues when needed. The engineers focused on speed, low cost, quality, and safety and ignored product development experiments. So they hired six tunnel boring machines to do a job that needs only one or two, then divided the project into pieces or module units, each about five kilometers long because it was optimal for one tunneling machine. And just like station modules would be replicated over and over again, the tunnel modules were also replicated over and over. Little did they know that they sort of invented something called replicable modularity in design and speed in iteration. That takes us to the second project, Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, which is one of the world's biggest and highest volume plants for electric motors, energy storage products, vehicle powertrains, and batteries. When Tesla announced the $5 billion, 10 million square feet Gigafactory 1 in late 2014, no one expected it to become fully operational and achieve immense success in mere months. Such a complex project would have taken at least seven years to complete, so how did they pull it off? They simply applied the scaling up the smart way with module design technologies to achieve optimal results fast. And we mean really fast. They built one production block, fired it up, got the products flowing, tested the results, learned from mistakes, fixed issues, and then replicated it. This meant the factory was up and running fast in mere months because there was no need to build it as one unit at once. In the next few years, they kept adding blocks that simply increased output. In fact, by July 2016, three blocks were fully operational and Tesla's stocks were going through the roof. If Tesla did not apply such a strategy and the whole factory was built as one integrated unit, it would have taken years to complete and probably run over budget too. In comparison, experimental mega projects that are expensive and build as one block can be disastrous, take a long time to complete and cost large sums. 
For example, when the Japanese built the huge Manju sodium-cooled fast reactor, which was a $12 billion experiment to see if recycled nuclear fuel can be used to produce electricity, the result was one catastrophe after another. The plant produced only one hour of electricity in 22 years of operations, and now they are dismantling it at the cost of $3.5 billion. So where did the Japanese go wrong? They could have built a module reactor, a small and inexpensive one to test their theories. Okay, let's now take a look at some mini mega projects, such as amazing tower buildings that were built in mere hours or days. Let's first address the elephant in the room, because as you already know, high rises and skyscrapers cannot be built nor sustained without strong foundations and columns. It is just impossible. And since these foundations take at least two weeks to build, how can a 10 or 50 story building be erected in days? The answer came from the airplane manufacturing industry, where stainless steel plates are brazed into honeycomb panels. Such panels are light and strong, but cost about $3,000 per square foot. So the Chinese company, Board Group, took that technology, dramatically reduced the cost, and was able to create something called the B-Core Floor Slab, which can simply be placed on top of well-compacted soil with or without hammered steel cylinder foundations, depending on the type of soil, weather, moisture, and expected sinkage ratio. They are also using the same technology in columns, beams, and exterior and interior walls. The company already provides customers with prefab up to 50-story modular mixed-use towers. Once a client provides the specifications, it only takes the company two weeks to have the structure's modules ready. A 10-story housing or office building can be up and running in 29 hours since the process involves only staking and tightening a few bolts and screws. One of the famous buildings dubbed the Living Building, erected by the company, took place in 2021. The apartment block was assembled from standard container-sized modular units. Each module was 40 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 10 feet high. Additionally, windows and balconies are folded out from the unit to enclose the spaces. Amazingly, the building comes ready with modules for maintenance, electricity, central heating, and air conditioning. The internal water and electric water networks also come ready. The builder only has to connect the building to the power grid and municipal water and sewage mains. Believe it or not, the company claims that its design can be applied to a 200-floor building, which is sort of insane because that would constitute a 2,000-foot-high skyscraper. To prove this crazy figure, the company has erected the Mini Sky City in Changsha, China. The building has a mesmerizing 57 floors, perfectly safe and effective tower that was built in merely 19 days. It can even withstand high-magnitude earthquakes and extremely severe storms. Another amazing project worth mentioning here is the 15-story Ark Floating Hotel on Dongting Lake in Hunan Province. It is a stunning, futuristic, see-through bubble Ark Hotel that is billed as a self-contained oasis. It was designed by the Russian firm Remy Studio with the assistance of the International Union of Architects and built by Broad Group. The dome-shaped Arc Hotel is constructed with wooden arches, steel cables, and a self-cleaning plastic layer instead of glass. It also rises with rising sea levels and is powered by 100% renewable energy. Believe it or not, this trophy was erected by a team of 200 workers in less than six days. This makes us wonder, can entire cities be built in mere days or weeks? Using the ever-evolving module design and prefabrication technologies. Let us know what you think in the comments section, and please do like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.